Now, how do we treat? Treatment, there is no specific treatment for dengue. Bacterial infections have a specific treatment. For example, typhoid, pneumonia, and you have malaria, you have specific treatment. Dengue is a viral infection, so there is no specific treatment for this illness. The, it is a self-limiting illness. It enters the body, the virus enters the body, and uh, goes out of the body on its own but what we are trying to do is not treating the virus we are trying to manage the outcome or we are trying to manage the ill effects that the virus causes to the body whatever negative thing that the virus does we try to correct it so that further mishaps won't occur so the mainstay of treatment is give only paracetamol Paracetamol, paracetamol, paracetamol. No other medications are required. Never use high uh, fever medications like mephenemic acid or ibuprofen. Such uh, antipyretic drugs should not be used when you have a suspicion of the dengue, even if it is high fever. With wet mopping of the whole body, you can control the temperature but never go for these medications because they may have a negative impact on the platelet counts and the platelet count may start falling because of the medications than the illness also. Give more fluids. If the child is taking orally, plenty of oral fluids. It can be soups, it can be fruit juices, it can be tender coconut water, it can be plain water. So allow the child to drink more water. Food wise, there are no restrictions. Whatever normal food that the child is able to take, you can give. But fluid is most important thing. Keep a watch on the urine output. If the child is passing adequate urine output, that means the fluid intake is appropriate. Now, when you should, uh, what you should look for in these cases? If the child is active, child is taking orally, child is uh, passing adequate amount of urine and child is uh, not lethargic, tired, you need not worry. It doesn't mean that all dengue cases need admission. Such stable cases can very well be managed at home with the only fluids and simple medications. Then when I should go to the doctor or the hospital, when I should get my child admitted? That is the next question. If the child, yeah, though the fever is not there, child is lethargic, inactive, excessive sleepiness, vomiting, severe stomach pain, rest amount of urine, breathing difficulty, some bleeding through the nose or mouth or uh, other sides or on the skin, red small spots on the skin or the platelet count is too less, like less than 20,000, less than 10,000 or the child is very puffy, like the face is puffiness or body is getting bloated. These are the things which we should immediately rush to the hospital or the doctor. In the hospital, also, after admission, we don't have any specific medicine. We are trying to do the, uh, if the platelet is very less, then only we give transfusion, platelet supplement. Otherwise, no platelet transfusion, even if the platelet is below 10,000. There are certain specific criteria when to give platelet. The platelet is very low, less than 10,000 or so, or the child has some bleeding tendencies, then only we have to give. Otherwise, Routinely, just because of a low platelet, never expect the doctor to give the platelet transfusion. The other thing what we do is give fluids through the IV and that will try to correct the whatever abnormalities that I have done. And uh, third thing is we try to monitor the blood pressure, pulse and other things. Whenever those are less or whenever those are abnormal, we try to correct that so that further complications do not occur. 
5% of them, in spite of their best efforts, may need specialized treatment, especially in the monitoring in the ICU. Such babies may have to be shifted to the ICU. Otherwise, no problem. Coming to the prevention. Prevention, uh, mosquito control is the most important thing. And these mosquitoes generally breed on fresh water. And these mosquitoes generally breed on uh, the uh, uh, tins and coconut uh, shells, plastic bags and small plastic containers which are thrown out of the house. And when the fresh water collects in that, especially during the initial part of the rains, that becomes the breeding place for all these mosquitoes. So, see that there are no such things around the house. AC ducts, fresh water uh, collection at home like a small sump or tank, open uh, tank in which water is collected and uh, the indoor plants wherein the water is put, to, put in the pot of the indoor plant and these are the places where the, these mosquitoes breed and they develop. So, see that these are not there and if a public health authority comes surrounding the house you should uh, try to spray some anti mosquito uh, compounds maybe DDT or whatever it is. Mosquito net is the best way of protecting it mosquito mesh to the windows long sleeved dresses in the uh, for the child uh, will to some extent will help to protect mosquito repellents as it is the creams and applications may not have much effect and in some children it may not be totally safe but if the mosquito population is too much you can give a trial for that and as i told these are the mosquitoes which are biting in the daytime compared to the mosquitoes of malaria and uh, other things which bite in the night times. So, this is a day biter, this is a fresh water breeder, this is the difference between other mosquitoes and this mosquito. So, this mosquito particularly bites in the daytime. and if you take care of these things probably we can reduce the burden of uh, mosquito population and once the mosquito population comes down the dengue fever incidents may come down. So, in conclusion, never get panic when a diagnosis of dengue is made, never get panic when the platelets are low, never get panic when the fever comes thinking that some neighbor has fever, dengue and my child is also again. What we have to do is uh, regular follow up and monitoring is most important thing. Contact your doctor as and when these new symptoms which I have told appear in the child and early intervention will definitely reduce the ill effects and uh, morbidity associated with the dengue. Thank you.